The Briarcliff men's basketball team comes into the week with a two-game losing streak, but still right in the thick of things in the GPAC conference. At 8-8, eight and eight, they're going to need to get back to what got them as far as they have been to really make some noise, and that is their defense. Briarcliff doesn't have the size to grind out games the same way many GPAC teams try to do. So their best way to grind is by doing it on the defensive end, but less of a grind and more of that annoying nap on that side of the ball. Seeing as they won't win a ton of rebound battles, the Chargers rely on their quickness to deflect passes for steals so that they can get out and run, and when they can, it's been effective. Briarcliff is the number one team in the nation in three-point makes, attempting the fourth most per game. And a lot of those come in transition, and more possessions translates to more shots. When we're playing aggressively um, and we're getting some deflections, we're forcing some turnovers, we're making the offense uncomfortable, we're at our best. And the games we've won this year, we've been really aggressive defensively. And the games we haven't won, we've not been nearly as aggressive. And that's going to be a focal point here this last month of the year. We have to play with an aggressive mindset every single possession. I think it's all this, the energy. Um, having a defensive energy um, really helps the offense. And, uh, you know, just having that fire and that, and that spirit behind the defense the band, you know, just get the offense flowing. Chargers looking to end the skid on Wednesday when they host number 11 Dakota Wesleyan in a men's women's doubleheader, men tipping off at 8.